I came outside today to dig a trench to try to get water to drain off my driveway. Unfortunately, I ended up causing more problems than I fixed. If you look really closely as I dump this scoop of dirt, you'll see something white fall out of the bucket. That was not supposed to happen. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. And I was just out here digging for treasure and I found a piece of PVC pipe. It's irregular shape, probably part of the ruins of uh, ancient civilization, maybe when the Mayans used to live here. So I feel really fortunate. I'll put this on my mantle. Okay, yeah, that's not it at all. Obviously, I've just hit a drain pipe. I was digging a trench to install some, some drainage to get water to shed across my driveway. And I hit this drain line. Now I put this drain line in. This is a septic drain line that runs from the bathroom in our shop down to our septic system. I put this in six months ago. I knew exactly where it was, and I was pretty confident it was three foot deep. Turns out it was only 18 or 20 inches deep. Now, I thought there's no way that my bucket on the tractor could reach that, but it did. And so now is fix the plumbing day. I'm gonna go to the store, get what I need. Then we have to get the backhoe on, dig this out better so we can get all the way around it and see if we can make a repair. I dug down and found the busted piece of pipe by hand and the damaged area is only about eight to 10 inches long. But I am gonna have to do quite a bit of digging to fully expose that. I started off trying to use my front hoe bucket because that's what's already on the tractor. Unfortunately, it really wanted to push dirt into the hole as much as it was taking it out. brought my son-in-law over here to be the muscle and work a shovel. So I thought these young kids could shovel all day, but I guess they don't make them like they used to. It's a lot more dirt than I thought. I thought I'd be able to scoop it up, but really what I did was push it on top of, of the pipe I'd already dug up. So I am gonna get the backhoe just to clear this mess out. It took us about 20-25 minutes probably to dig all the way around this pipe. I'm trying to take my time a little bit so that I don't further damage the pipe. But also, after running to the hardware store and getting everything we needed, I was down to about two hours to dig this out, repair it, and fill it back in so that we had a functional bathroom tomorrow in the shop. So I would dig until I knocked a bunch of dirt on the pipe, and then my helper would uncover the pipe again, and we just repeated that pattern until we got it all dug out. The thing about making a repair like this is you don't just have to get down to the pipe, but you have to get clearance all the way under it, about six inches on each side of the brake. And you can do most of that with the machine, but at some point, you just have to get down in the hole and manually work the dirt out from underneath the pipe. And I'm lazy enough to call in someone to help me with that. So I was making jokes about my helper. I went inside to get a reciprocating saw. Couldn't find one. Ended up coming back with a grinding wheel. Hopefully that'll work. And he did a hell of a job digging out under this. So it's going to be easy to fix now. What we have to do is find the furthest back that the damage goes and cut off just past that. Woohoo! 
trying to hurry to do this, and I got all this energy, I don't know what to do with my hands. All right, now I just want to clean all the dirt off of the outside of the pipe. Because obviously we're going to be gluing this. The next part of this I learned from Outdoors with the Morgans. Now Mike Morgan's a pretty sharp guy if you haven't seen. So when you make a repair like this, you want to make sure you get a repair coupling that doesn't have the lip in the middle. So you can slide it all the way up on this pipe and all the way up on the other pipe. By doing that, you can cut your splicing piece to the full length that you're replacing rather than using like a fern co and maybe having a gap. But you want to know how far on the pipe you are. So you can take this, set it on your pipe or slide it over your pipe but only halfway on and then mark all the way around it. Now you know how far onto this pipe you're supposed to be. Helps you get a better joint. We'll do that on both sides. First, I'm going to do it on our splice pipe. We'll have four marks that tell us how far onto the pipe we're supposed to be. All right, I've measured between the pipes. I've marked it on here. He's going to take it in and just use a miter saw to cut this off. If you notice, whoever's helping me, I always got to make jokes, but I don't know. I would have struggled doing this by myself. You ever grow up around people? My grandpa was. That the only way that you knew he liked you is that he was giving you a hard time. We go halfway on again. Now we've got both sides of this pipe marked. I think you might be able to find a rock about the right size to put under that. Or maybe even this. This might fit. So I've got my new piece of pipe set in here. I've got my marks for the union. I've got it setting on this old piece of pipe just so I don't have to hold it the whole time. Then we're going to put on our primer. And we'll put on the glue. Oh, dropped it in the dirt. Luckily, you know, drain line's not a high pressure fitting. So, but I think we're still going to get a really good seal from this. Okay, there's one side. It looks kind of fixed. Now I started off the day wanting to put a drain line above this. So while I'm here, I'm gonna fill this right above the pipe, lay my other drain line above it, then fill back over it, and we'll finish this drain line another day. But I'm no plumbing expert. If you know more about this than I do, feel free to leave in the comments any mistakes I made. That's it for the damage I did. Finishing out the job I started with will be a project for another day. But I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links over here to more of our videos and I'll see you next time.